Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director Comey, welcome. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your testimony. Um, you know, I have to say I found your answer to, to Senator Kennedy a few minutes ago puzzling uh, in, in that you described the reason why uh, the case was closed against Ms. Abedin as that you could not determine she was aware her conduct was unlawful. And the reason that answer is puzzling is, is you're a very accomplished lawyer, and, and as you're well aware, uh, every first-year law student learns in criminal law that ignorance of the law is no excuse, and that mens rea does not require knowledge that conduct is unlawful. And in fact, the governing statutes, 18 U.S.C. 793F and 18 U.S.C. 798F, uh, 798A, have no requirement of a knowledge of unlawful. So 798A provides whoever knowingly and willfully communicates, furnishes, transmits, or otherwise makes available to an unauth unauth unauthorized person classified information shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. Uh, under the terms of that statute, the fact pattern you described in this hearing seems to fit that statute directly in that, if I understand you correctly, you said Ms. Abedin forwarded hundreds or thousands of classified emails to her husband on a non-government, non-classified comu uh, computer. How is how does that conduct not directly violate that statute? First, Senator, I, 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 if I said that I misspoke, she forwarded hundreds and thousands of emails, some of which contain classified information. Uh, in the, uh, for generations, generations I think is a fair way to say it, uh, the Department of Justice has understood that statute to require, in practice, and I believe they think in law, to require a general sense of criminal intent. That is not a specific intent, but a general criminal intent, a, a sense, a knowledge that what you're doing is unlawful. Not violating a particular statute, but some general criminal mens rea. I can't find a case that's been brought in the last 50 years based on negligence, based on without some showing or indicia of intent. Uh, you and I have both worked in a number of jobs that require dealing with classified information. Uh, and on its face, anyone dealing with classified information should know that that conduct is impermissible. Let me ask you, how would you handle an FBI agent who forwarded thousands of classified emails to his or her spouse on a non-government computer? Well, there'd be significant administrative discipline. I'm highly confident they wouldn't be prosecuted. I'm also highly confident there would be discipline. 